welcome to the workshop. Hi, today I'm going to cut a lapped mitre joint. You'll join these two pieces together at 90 degrees with a mitre and we're going to strengthen that mitre by combining what is a, a simple mitre joint with the half lap joint where we remove half material from one piece and half from the other so we can join long grain to long grain. Hopefully you'll understand what it is as I mark out and cut the joint. I'm going to remove this corner down to halfway, leaving behind the whole of this lower half as a square section. Then to be able to mate with that, what I need to do is remove the corner on here. So this corner gets removed down to halfway and then to be able to sit on top of the square section that we've left behind we need to remove the lower half in a square area like a standard half lap so first of all let me mark the mitres. So this is just a 45 degrees as per a standard mitre. And then I want to run that line down this edge to halfway. and I've taken the mitre right to the corner so that cuts already in place. Now I need to mark my halfway point here and I'll just use a normal marking gauge I don't have to be dead accurate because I shall mark off the same surface on both pieces and I prepared them equal width. In fact I prepared these pieces as one piece and cut it in half and shot the ends. So I'll mark my halfway line then it's clear the area I've got to remove from this component on this side I'll mark my halfway right the way round for the width of the component which I can take off this piece so I'll just mark a width across same the other side and mark all the way round from the face side Then I need to accurately mark the width across the back of this section, working again off the face, working this time off the face edge. So if I place one component on there, flush the ends up, I can use the stock of the mitre square, push my tri square into position remove that then I can mark the cut line transfer that line around the component back up to the midpoint scoring line
So that is now showing me the lower half, the lap as it were, that we need to remove. But as well as that we also need to remove the mitre. So we'll put in our mitre line and that again is right from the corner and that gets joined up to that cut line like so. So on this component we're removing a square section to half distance and that provides the lap area and then in what's remaining of that half lap we remove the one corner at 45 degrees to make the mitre. On the other component we simply remove the corner down to half distance leaving us with a corner lap to go on the back side of the other component. I'll cut those and then show you the joint disassembled and hopefully that will make it a little clearer. As normal I prepare my cut lines up to the marking line, take a little wedge out for a groove that my saw can sit in. And I do that wherever I've got a cut line. Remember just to leave the line on the section that's going to be left behind. So when I'm initially removing the square half lap, I'm cutting within that area. That's the first half of the one mitre dropping away. square of the half lap. We will tidy that up with chisels later on. This time we stay the material of the corner that we're removing. then we can gradually work with the chisels or the router plane to bring these faces down so that when they're put together the main faces of the components are flush with each other we also use a chisel to chop down the joint shoulders, feeling it into the knife line, setting it vertical and paring down.
where we can see the mitre and we don't have the the overlapping corner here we could actually shoot that on a shooting board but we can equally clamp it onto a piece of waste and chop down from the outside face which is what I'm going to do here So I've just finished cleaning those up with the router plane and chisels. Let me just talk you through the joint before I glue it. The one section is square on the end for half its thickness and then a corner is cut out on the mitre to leave a triangular shape half lap. The other component is cut square halfway through and that is removed and then the remaining half is cut on the mitre leaving just a triangle of half lap and those components go together like so. We now have flush surfaces on the laps, a tight square joint on the back and a tight mitre joint on the front so I'll just glue that up now and here's the finished joint we've got a pretty tight mitre line tight joint lines the rest of the way around there's the half lap It's all lovely and flush and at 90 degrees. So the lapped mitre joint, give it a go.